Hi guys, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Ellen Katzowitz, and we are doing a preview video for Medical Science 101. I will be your instructor throughout this course, and we will be demonstrating pulse today. Are you ready? Make sure your equipment is assembled. I have here something to write on, a sink to wash your hands, hand sanitizer, which is a must, and a watch or a stopwatch. You can speak to your patient and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Katzowitz. And what is your name? My name is Edie Wilson. I will write that down before I forget. And then I will tell the patient what you will be doing. Now it's time to take a radial pulse. Make sure you find the radial bone and run your fingers along until you feel a pulse, making sure to put a little bit of pressure. When that is done, turn the hand over. Make sure you do not take a pulse with your thumb. You're going to count for one minute. Not only are you counting the pulse rate, but you're also noting the rhythm and the volume. When that is complete, you record your data. Ms. Wilson has a pulse rate of 61 BPM, beats per minute. Her rhythm is regular and her volume is strong. Make sure you check the patient before she leaves and make sure that everything's okay. Is everything okay? Yes, it is. The last step is to again use hand sanitizer so you could get to your next patient. This concludes the video impulse. Respiration is another vital sign that we must measure. It's kind of like a continuation of pulse, sort of, but you need to wait and see. Now, the patient still thinks I'm taking their pulse, but I've quit taking their pulse. Now I have to determine what their breathing rate is. So I'm going to look at their chest. But why don't, why do you do this? Well, think about it. One of the reasons would be that if a patient knew that I was counting their breathing, like I'm counting your breathing, <gasps> their breathing would more than likely alter. Therefore, you don't do that. You continue to make the patient think you are taking their pulse. Ha, clever. You count for a minute, you're watching the chest rise and fall, one inhalation and one exhalation. If you cannot see this happening, make sure you either put a hand on their back or their shoulder. Counting for a minute, noting their rate, rhythm, and volume. For more information about our program, contact us at esquaredhomeschool.com.